Hey guys, welcome back to Photography Tutorials for V-Flat World. In today's episode, we're gonna be talking about creating some really cool lighting and shadow patterns on your set using some really interesting things that you wouldn't expect as gobos. So we're going to start here with a clean slate. We just styled up a quick, beautiful little cheese board. Uh, let me show you where my lighting's at now. I just have a single hard light source scraping across the set. Just place those right, oh, they're a little bit in the set. Pull those out a bit. Okay, so they're not in the frame, but you'll see what is in the frame. And this just is going to create some visual interest that just makes the whole photo kind of like, wow. That just like, it went from kind of a simple shot, almost empty looking in the top to really simple without any actual more styling no more props just all of a sudden there's some visual interest up there i actually don't like where this one is i'm going to pull this back a little bit and that's it that's a better play i like that all right that's really simple now we're going to do the same thing but instead of darker thicker bottles we're going to go with empty glasses i'm just trying to show you the concept again they're out of the frame they're not in my shot I just want the shadows coming across. Again, interest, something different. Let's get this one a little bit more there, okay. So you can kind of see that it's a wine glass without it actually being a wine glass, which is kind of neat. All right, we're gonna take some apple juice and pretend it's champagne. I'm gonna fill it up a little taller this time. Bring it in just out of frame. And I'm looking down here on my second screen is the live view so I can see what I'm doing. Nice. Pull it back a little bit more. Very cool. Okay, I'm still thinking that's a little dark so I'm gonna pour some of this back. I think I liked it better empty. Yeah, definitely. Oh, it's actually cooler after some of the water is on the glass you get all this weird reflection stuff going on and since I have it here let's just do it this is just a cool coffee cup cappuccino mug because of all the angles in the glass you end up something really cool as well nice oh that's nice I really like that one all right cool so just a couple different options for you the next uh, gobo we're going to talk about is using these tabletop v-flats uh, just to create a shadow line across the set. It's gonna be a hard shadow line because we're using hard light. So if I just place that right there, I'm gonna get the second one in a minute. Find the right spot on this one. So you can kind of see what it does there. Just cuts up that whole side. And I place the other one. Well, we'll start with right here and see how that goes. Uh, one thing that's really cool about this setup is the closer the light gets to the set, the more angled the shadow goes out if you look the lines are not perfectly parallel they're slightly going on a v-shape so if i bring this light closer to the set it's going to be a wider v so now your v is a wider v which actually this kind of looks pretty neat i actually like that so one really cool thing you can do with this and i'll crop in as well in post but you can get like just this little slit of light. You know, I want it right here on this blue cheese area. Just this little tiny slit of light. That's really cool. All right. This is one of my favorite little tools in the studio to get something dramatic quickly. Uh, what this is, is a really cool device. This mounts on your light straight on. I'll show you how to get it on in a second. And it's got this little lens that you can focus and defocus the light right inside this little device. And what this does is you can just use it as a straight up spotlight and then have that beam of light change, both the focus of the beam of light as well as the size of the beam of light. There's a little aperture control here. And what you can also do as well is put these little gobos between. And you can see the little patterns on here. Uh, each one will produce the pattern that it shows on here. So you end up looking like a window or like a window shade, which is really cool. And you can get some really cool effects. Let's show you how to do it. 
So this product takes a little bit of trial and error until you kind of find that sweet spot of just where it hits the set in the right spot. Typically, I like to have it a little further away so it spreads nicely throughout the set. And then you can play with the focus, like how deep, how sharp you want the lines of that window effect to become. Uh, what we normally do is we just turn the lights off in the studio, get the modeling light on, and just sit there positioning the light until we find just the right spot. So we've set up a second light as a fill just off camera on the right. Uh, it's really low power. I mean, that one's at full power and this is at 1 64th. So it's really just doing what a reflector would do normally. So just giving us a touch of light and you can see that here. Now you've got just a little bit of detail in these shadows, which is what I like to see. Thanks again for joining us for another episode of V Flat World's photography tutorial series. Uh, make sure to subscribe and you'll get the notifications for all our latest videos. Again, we love when the technical influences the creative. I love that, that you can figure out from a technical standpoint how to make something creative and beautiful.